Hey, what's going on YouTube? What is going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're doing all right, man. So we're back here with another reaction to The Who. This is going to be Love Rain Over, over Me, but it's like Over Me. Love Rain Over Me. Okay, so yeah, that's a difficult one for me to say. We're going to be checking this one out here today, guys. This is a Cash App donation request. So thank you so much for supporting the channel and requesting in that way. Pretty awesome. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and jump into this one. I've done quite a bit of The Who on this channel, and you know I'm going to keep coming back for more. But right now, we've got our first The Who donation request. So very cool. Let's go ahead and jump into this one and just give it a spin, man. See what we're up against here. that the raindrops are like their symbol, the ripples. But that's Pete. Wow, 
this moves together so good. I've got so much to learn about these guys, man. They come with so much different sound, so much different technique. You know, they're definitely not a one road kind of band, man. They just keep coming. They keep bringing it. This one right here, absolutely amazing track. I love the power and the passion behind not only uh, the vocals, man, because those vocals were heavy, heavy blues, um, to me, like, that was raw. I love when they hit those gritty notes because that's just, like, from the chest, passion, singing, man. Uh, I love it. But not only were the vocals, like, so deep in blues, rock kind of style to me, but, like, the instrumentation on here was just different, man. It was just built differently, man. You get the keys... You get the guitars, the drums, the bass, but then that like almost I'm I'm not gonna assume it was pure violin, but it sounded like a violin sound, but maybe being made from like a synth keyboard or something. I don't know uh what exactly was contributing that sound, but just together, man, it almost just reminds me of a soup when you just have the flavors right, all the seasonings are right, man. It's got so much in there, but it all blends together to a perfect concoction that, I mean, just blows you away, man. You know, your mouth is just swirling with flavor. My ears were swirling with flavor when it came to this track. That was great. That was a great song from The Who once again, but I don't know, man. Like I said, they're just, these songs are so different. You know, if I'm looking at, like, Eminence Front, uh, Bob O'Reilly, and now, you know, Love Rain Over Me, it's like, they hit, they're hitting you with completely different techniques, different sounds, man. And they're all so impactful. I love it. I love that about them. You know, one thing that I just really am blown away by with this band is how insanely creative Pete is with this group. Pete seems to have his hand involved in almost everything when it comes to this band as far as like a song's composition and he nails it man i don't know you know i could just assume how involved he was in creating probably most of their songs but man he really has talent when it comes to uh putting songs together right here it says love rain over me subtitled pete's theme is a song by the english rock band the who written and composed by guitarist pete townshend uh townsend i believe it's pronounced right it was released on 27 October 1973 as the second single from the band's sixth studio album and second rock opera, Quadrophenia. Wait, so this says second rock opera. I know people have been telling me I need to dive into the rock opera from The Who. Uh, so this says second. So I don't even really quite know what rock opera is. Uh, a whole album, whole album where I guess maybe they incorporate... I don't know. I don't even want to jump to think a guess on it. So right here it says, A rock opera is a collection of rock music songs with lyrics that relate to a common story. Rock operas are typically released as concept albums and are, are not scripted 
for acting, which distinguishes them from operas, although several have been adapted as rock musicals. That's what I would have thought. If you're making a rock opera, it can probably be adapted as a musical where acting is then incorporated. That's So they, they separate it, but really it can be pulled right into the opera side of the house. It says this song concerns the main character of Quadrophenia, Jimmy, having a personal crisis. With nothing left to live for, he finds a spiritual redemption in pouring rain. As Townsend describes the song, it refers to uh, Mayor Baba's one-time comment that the rain was a blessing from God, that thunder was God's voice. It's another plea to drown, only this time in the rain. Jimmy goes through a suicide crisis. He surrenders to the inevitable. And you know, you know when it's over and he goes back to town, he'll be going through the same shit, being in the same terrible family situation and so on. But he's moved up a level. He's weak still, but there's a strength in that weakness. He's in danger and mature of maturing. Oh man, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I literally just talked about strength and weakness and one of my other videos, man, where sometimes that's where you can find your biggest strengths is in terrible situations that make you feel weak and make you feel inferior and make you feel not worthy, man. Sometimes those are the times when something inside you just pulls deep, man, and it brings out a different side of you and it emboldens you, you know. For those fortunate enough, man, you, you know, those situations, those scars heal and just make you stronger, so. Now... I didn't want to jump to think who was vocalizing the track, although it did sound like Roger to me. I didn't want to be wrong. Happy to see it is Roger because, dude, he, I mean, man, his chest was coming out and he was just going crazy on this track. I just love that side of him. Uh, Pete, I also love his singing. Eminence Front is probably uh, the main song that I can think of right now that I've done with Pete singing, but I think they're both great singers and they both have their own thing to offer. But with this one, I was like, man, that sounds like Roger. It definitely sounded like Roger for me. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed rocking with me here today. I absolutely loved this track right here. Thank you so much for the song suggestion or donation request. Really appreciate that. Um, just fantastic song. That was powerful. Uh, I love a good, powerful track like that. Uh, just reaches right inside, man. Love that so much. Thank you guys for being here with me today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this reaction. If y'all did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the descriptions down below for other ways you can help the channel. With that being said, I'm gone. See you on the next one. Peace.